Hello and welcome to today's MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be subtracting three digit numbers and four digit numbers. So first of all, on to question one. That's 648 and we're subtracting 322. So the first thing we need to make sure is we have everything in the correct columns. So we have our units lined up, our tens lined up and our hundreds lined up. And then we can work down each of the columns. So we have 8, subtract 2, which is 6. Then we have 40, subtract or take away 20, which gives us 20. And then we have 600 minus 300 gives us 300 for a final answer of 326. And next one to question 2, which is 5,354. And we're going to subtract 4,114. And again, we need to make sure we have everything lined up. We have our units in the correct position. So four units subtract four units gives us zero. Then we have five tens, 50. Subtract 10 gives us 40. And in the hundreds column, we have 300. Subtract 100 to give us 200. And finally, in the thousands column, we have 5,000, subtract 4,000 to give us 1,000 for a final answer of 1,240. And as you can see, there's no real difference between question one and two. Question two just happens to have an extra digit, but it's no, no more difficult. There's just an extra column to subtract. And next we're on to question three, which is 436. And we are subtracting 153. So again, units, 6 subtract 3 gives us 3. And moving on to the tens, now this time we have 30 subtract 50, which obviously we can't do. So what we need to do is we need to move over to our hundreds column and we need to borrow one from the 4. So we now have 300, so instead of 400, we've borrowed one of those 400s to bring it over to here and we only have 300 left in the hundreds column. So that's 13 tens, take away five tens, gives us eight tens. And then finally, we have 300 minus 100, gives us 200 for a final answer of 283. And finally for today, on to question four, which is a four digit, subtract a four digit. That's 6,324. And I'm subtracting 3,721. Now, again, making sure we have our correct columns lined up. We have our units, that's 4 subtract 1 gives us 3. Moving on to the tens, we have 20 minus 20, which is obviously 0, there's nothing left over. Moving on to the hundreds column, we have 300 subtract 700. Now the second digit's obviously bigger, so we can't do that. So we need to move over to the thousands column, borrow one of the six thousands and bring it over. So we only have 5,000 left over in that thousands column. And then coming back, we have 1,300 take away 700 to give us 600. And finally, moving back to the thousands, we have 5,000 subtract 3,000 to give us 2,000 for a final answer of 2,603. Thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.